Hi, welcome. On this video, I'm right here with Milo. Milo's here uh, for some boarding. And again, fully trained as a service dog. And again, on this video here, I want to show the issue about being able to, um, say, put a vest on the dog as a follower, okay, without a dog being disagreeable. Uh, understanding it's about influence, okay, how you're communicating, how you're messaging to establish um, the dog to be um, very relaxed, very calm, and not um, trying to challenge or fight against what you're doing. The same goes if you're trying to put a muzzle on the dog, here in this um, exercise here, putting the service dog vest on the dog. Um, but again, it's all about right away starting to establish control, okay? But in terms of right here, see Miles beside me, you know, I have the pressure collar on him, I have the leash, and uh, right away I'm nudging here a little bit, but you can see his demeanor, okay? He's looking at me, he's focused, you know, he's calm, he's relaxed. But again, in terms of clarity, in terms of really keeping this clean, okay? Try to picture it like he's an island onto himself. You know, I don't want to be touching on him, rubbing on him, getting up next to him too close like that. I'm starting to contaminate what I'm doing, okay? This is about right relationship, okay? This is about making sure he truly is getting the message that he's to be calm and relaxed throughout. Now, I've had the opportunity in time, he's been here for um, over a week, to really make sure that, again, he's starting to, um, you know, see me the right way. Kind of a kind of a refresher in a way, okay, which is very helpful because understand the first thing to go when you're dealing with you know a task associated responses, the first thing you'll see start to wash out a little bit is the picking up objects part of it, okay, because it's very funneled, it's very specific. So here to get things back on track, okay, with dogs, it's really important to get back to basics, so to speak, in terms of you know. Um, you know, influence being an active agent. And so this exercise here is a good example of that. So here, as I start to put this on him, okay, right here, he's aware I'm about to put it, put this on him. But here's the thing about, say, if you're using a, a vest or even the leash, going for a walk, you'll see through association, the dog has a certain way of thinking about things, how they branch off. That's why the dog can be very excited about, you know, getting a leash attached, but the wrong way. Okay, being in control, thinking, okay, I'm about to go, I'm about to take my owner for a walk because, you know, I'm in control of everything. Versus, you're going for a walk as a follower, okay? Totally different type of, you know, context. So, when you see a dog's tail wagging and excited and they look happy, it doesn't always represent that it's a good thing, okay? It can be a complete nightmare based again on what the relationship, what's been already established and about how they think. Here, you know, I want the dog, I want Milo to be calm and relaxed as I'm putting this vest on because I want him to be as a ball. So right here, I start to line it up, kind of see how this is going to go through. His head's going to go through this part. So as I attach it right here, see I'm tapping the leash right away. I'm tapping. I don't want any kind of contamination. I'm tapping, see I'm tapping right here. I'm still in communication with him. I'm going to pull the leash through. So even if I have to make certain adjustments, see I'm still, see nice and clean. Right here, it's on him already. I just have to buckle up a couple sides here. But notice I'm communicating with him, say, hey, I'm in control. The vest is going on as a follower, and we're gonna move forward from there. But here, see, it's like the vest is just part of what I'm doing. It's attached to influence, it's clean. I'm not getting down here. So as I get, as I get my hand down here, see I'm tapping right now, basically communicating with him, say, hey, I'm being very firm, very assertive. And put the leash down here. All right, nice and clean, just like that. Done. Okay, and then move forward from here. So here, um, understand it's all about how you're staying in communication. So you want to make sure the messaging. Okay, how I'm tapping the leash. Right, keep it clean. You know, maintain a level of control, influence, all the type of themes throughout, and notice how, how quickly, how easily that happened, right? And still, again, because this takes stress off of him, right? If I'm in control, he doesn't have to be. And then he can be focused on me or his owner the right way to do whatever needs to be done. From here, going into the assist, the stand, stand. Good boy, good boy. See, same thing. See, his tail's wagging here a little bit. As I tap, the leash, 
right, you see his tail will start to stop wagging quite as much, right? So yeah, so it's about his focus. So again, changing, tapping a little bit here. And then from there, sit, down. Okay, very controlled. And then state of relaxation. So saying, even when he's down there, I want him to relax. So it's all about, again, uh, the messaging, how you're doing it. You're attaching a vest or a muzzle or whatever the piece of equipment is. Keep it clean. You know, uh, influences an active agent. And everything will go just fine. Thanks for watching.